Okay, so in this video, let's take a look at how to get proper gain staging in Studio One. To get a better view, we're gonna shrink this back and change the view there. There we go. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a plugin on the master. And the fastest way to do that is to click on these two meters right here, double click, and it shows up the main inserts. We're gonna hit plus and I'm gonna type VU, which is one of the things I love about Studio One is being able to search for plugins by just typing the name. VU meter. And there it is. And VU meter, I'm going to use this on scale to 18. This is minus 18. That basically means that when this VU needle is hitting zero, it's minus 18 dB. All right, so what we need to do, our goal is not to touch the mixer. We're going to leave the mixer alone. In fact, we'll reset the volume here on the master. There we go. And our goal is going to be this to get the track level to where when we hit play, all the tracks are hitting uh, at zero. Okay, so the way we do that is we select all the tracks. So I'm just gonna click on an empty space, hit Command All, which is gonna select all the audio events. These are audio events. I'm gonna click and drag these down. I'm just gonna guess right here. I'm just gonna go to like minus 18 and hit play, see what happens. Okay, so I actually guessed it right. We can actually go up a little bit. Let's try minus 17. And again, if you want to do fine tuning, you can hold down shift while you drag. Okay, good. And let's take a look at how that looks like in the mixer. What this basically means is that when we start mixing, we're not going to run out of headroom. We can make the track ladder at the end by putting a limiter or a number of limiters, but this gives us enough headroom before we start mixing. Okay. So just to recap, if I go to browse under pool, these files are still living on the desktop. Let me show you. Here's the desktop. Here are all the files. If I go to the hip hop session, there's not a media folder created yet. Okay. So we're almost ready to copy these files over. Hang with me. All right, so all these tracks are selected. I'm gonna trim the end so it can be a perfect four bar loop. If you don't see the waveform, you can increase the waveform view there. All right, and at this point, I'm gonna bounce these tracks. And when I bounce these tracks, it's gonna print them with the new audio event volume, which we decrease by minus 17 dB, and it's gonna apply the track name to the audio event. So with all these tracks selected, it's really easy. All you do is hit Command B. Or if you want to see that, you can right click, go to event, and you'll see the selection called bounce selection. So very fast, it bounced the selection. It gave the name of the track to the audio event. As you can see, they're called bells, hey, vocal effects, so forth and so forth. And you can see that these files are labeled differently from the external files. Okay. Two more things. Select all the files in the pool. You can select them individually or hit Command A, right click, and you can have this option called Remove Unused Files. Let's go ahead and do that. Do you want to remove these unused files? And we're, we're going to click Yes. We're going to remove these unused files from the session, which are living on the desktop. Click Yes. And now, yes, finally now, we're going to hit Save. File, Save. And all these files are now in the project. There they are under bounces. Let's go close the browser and let's make sure everything plays back just fine. Okay, so just to recap, what we did is we imported the files from the desktop using files. We put them on the timeline. We cleaned up the track name. We adjusted the event volume for each of these tracks so that we have enough headroom. We bounce these files by using the event bounce selection. We removed the unused files from our project from the pool. And then this gave us a clean starting point so that there's no external files that are in our session and there's not duplicates of the same file. In the next video, I'm gonna show you the wrong way to do this so that you don't make that mistake.